New Mexico Veterans Art recognizes, supports, and promotes the talent and skills of artists who are veterans or who are serving in the active duty military, the Reserve, or National Guard forces. Veteran and artist Roy Breckenridge joins us with all the details. Good morning. Thank you, Nikki. Good Thank morning. you so much for joining us today. This is really special. Mm -hmm. So tell us first, have you always been an artist? Well, actually, becoming an artist was a long road for me. Really? Uh, I started drawing when I was young, uh, sporadically. Okay. I never pursued it. Uh, as I grew up, I had an urge to see the other side of the horizon. Mm. So I joined the Army, and for over 20 years, uh, most of my time was spent on the other side of that horizon. Wow. Uh, after I retired and completed teaching, mm -hmm. I decided, well, let's see if I can still draw. Oh, <laughs> and you clearly can, because I have to say, your style is so unique. So it's called pointillism, right? Mm -hmm. How yes. did you choose that? And tell our viewers what that means. Well, pointillism basically is just dots stacked on top of dots. Mm -hmm. uh, you create depth so cool. uh, by layering more dots. It's unbelievable. Really, I'm telling you, it is so unique. And I want to show everybody some of the pieces you brought so that they can get an understanding of the work itself. So let's sure. take a look at some of the pieces. Okay, this piece uh, is a portrait of Callahan's. Mm. Uh, Callahan's are Irish draft horses. Okay. And they're just like the Clydesdales, only mm -hmm. instead of chestnut and white, they're black and white. Yeah. Uh, this piece uh, actually received three first place awards this past year. Really? So it was really nice. Mm -hmm. So what inspires you to do something like that? Well, I've had a lot of travels. Mm -hmm. I've met a lot of people, uh, enjoyed their cultures. Uh, I've seen wildlife all over the world. Oh, I bet. Uh, and basically, I was blessed with the talent. Yes. Uh, and I know the only way I can say thank you for that gift is to use it. And we can say thank you for sharing it, well, really. It's, it's a great In opportunity. In fact, I, I want to share that next piece of work as well. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Can you tell us what that is? Uh, that is one of Mitch Tillerson's uh, pieces. It's okay. called the Pena Blanca Door. Hmm. And he is one of the other veterans that I wanted to give an opportunity to be seen on TV. Oh, he I'm does so great work and he's a great guy. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And there's more, there's more. Let's take a look <laughs> at the next piece because I, I just love looking at your work. Let's see this one. Look at that. Oh. This one is a lithograph. It's titled the Sandia Eagle. Mm. And to the lithograph, I've added a US flag remark. Remark is an original drawing added onto a print to distinguish it from other prints in the series. And uh, to make it more valuable, really, oh, yeah. because you're getting not only a signed and numbered print, but an original drawing by the same artist on the same piece. What a patriotic piece it is indeed. Mm -hmm. And for many years, as we just saw with the second piece we looked at, you mm -hmm. have promoted not only your own talent, but other veterans as well. So yes. tell us a little bit about how you've done that. Well, in 2001, mm -hmm. my wife Gloria and I mm -hmm. had an opportunity to open Kirtland Gallery. Uh, with all the other galleries around, we knew we had to do something to differentiate ourselves. Yes. And we wanted to do something that was not only special, but served a purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we selected uh, the idea of promoting veterans and active duty artists, uh, all okay. military personnel. <clears throat> and it worked quite well because it gave them an opportunity to distinguish uh, themselves by showing their work yes. and actually uh, exposure is one of the biggest obstacles any artist has. No kidding. Uh, it makes no difference how good you are if no one ever sees your work. Yes, that is so true. It is, so, so, it is the artist's plight mm -hmm. is to be seen and exposed and, mm -hmm. and while they're still here to have other people see it. Because a lot of times, <laughs> nice. you know what I mean? A lot of <laughs> sure. times we see artists work after they're mm -hmm. gone and, and, and we want that appreciation while they're still here and we appreciate mm -hmm. what you're doing so much. And now there's the New Mexico Veterans Art Show and before we get mm -hmm. to that, I wanted to look at this last piece. Tell us about that one. This last piece is a watercolor by Albert Neuer. Albert's okay. a World War II veteran. Wow. And he is one of the best watercolorists uh, that I've ever seen. Mm. And a great guy, too. It's a beautiful piece. And again, mm. thank you for exposing other people's work. And now let's talk about this New Mexico Veterans Art Show. Okay. New Mexico Veterans Art uh, actually uh, was started as an individual show. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was in 1998. Mm -hmm. And a few of us, the founding members, uh, 
knew that we had found something that was really special yes. and need to be continued. So after that show, we organized as a 501c3 and every November we have an art show in the Fine Arts Gallery at New Mexico Expo. Right. Um, in fact, right now, that show is on display mm -hmm. and will continue uh, for the next two weekends, Friday, okay. Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, and how can people three. how can people get more details and be able to come to the to the show? Uh, they can uh, go through our website, okay. uh, www.roybreckenridge.com. Okay, or they can go through the uh, NMVA site, which is www.nmveteransart.com. Uh, Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your Thank work you and thanks for what me. you're doing. We appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.